Growing up, I always wanted to work in television, but I wanted to be an anchor. So at the time when I was younger, uh, KTN had just come out with Channel 62 and we were excited because now we had another news channel apart from KBC to watch. And uh, the presenters on KTN, it was Fires Karashi, uh, Kathleen Kassel, Bully, Jacqueline Tom, and I used to watch them. I'm like, oh my gosh. This is what I used to take the newspaper and hold it in front of myself and pretend like I'm reading the teleprompter the way I'd see them do it on TV. When it came time to picking universities, I was going to do uh, mass communication. And my mom was like, yeah, I think maybe you should try mass communication. I'm like, okay, cool. I discovered the world behind the camera. Because all this time I thought, you know, maybe I want to be in front of the camera. Then I was like, wait, maybe the world behind the camera. It was quite interesting. So I joined NTV as a PA, a production assistant on NTV this morning. Yo, oh, I was excited. I used to run the auto queue, then hang out with the directors and with all these other producers in all these other different um, shows and, and, and different segments. And then eventually going out on like live shoots, OB shoots, things like that. So for me, that's when I was like, oh, all right, cool. I think I like this side of production and this side of like lifestyle production um, a bit better than the news that I had come from. After about a year at NTV, I left um, and went and joined a production company called Level One. So uh, shooting a lot of adverts, um, editing a lot of adverts, um, a friend of mine that I met at NTV, and he had been a producer at NTV, he was working for another local production house that was producing live sports. He's a huge rugby fan, huge rugby fan. So I'd go and hang out with them at the broadcasting track and things like those. So when he called me, he's like, listen, um, we're going to Dar es Salaam to do the football, the regional tournament, it's called Sakafa, so we need somebody to do the rugby, just to ensure that the highlights go on, so it's not blitz on time, you know, things like those. So I'm like, all right, cool, it's fine, I can, let's, let's do it. I was getting paid to watch rugby, come on, man. That was good. So I'm like, yes, Hong Kong, hi, Australia, how you doing, London? Hey, it was amazing. So it's important to move from this mentality of immediately I leave campus, I'm going to be a producer. It doesn't work like that for everybody. Mm -hmm. You'd have to start with where you are. Um, and, and analyze your situation and see, all right, cool, I'm the PA in this place. I'm the production assistant. But I am surrounded by the senior producers, the head of production, you know, so it's easy to interact with them, you know, make sure they know your name, make sure they know what you can do, make sure that, you know, if something happens or comes up and they need to fill a spot that you're interested in, you're at the top of their mind. My name is Wanjiko. I'm a film and television lecturer at ADMI, and this is how I made it.